Good morning everyone, it's Mike, and uh, I just want to do a demonstration of how to do Bluetooth in a Bose Acoustic Wave radio. This is a CD-3000 model from 1998, and I did a little couple of videos of that back in uh, September, so I know it's going to be a uh, lame video, but Bluetooth demonstration can be done on a Bose radio. So I'm going to show you what you need to do to get started. Okay, so for starters, you're going to have one of these guys right there, which is a, a Y adapter with these two RCA input cables to an audio input source. I actually got that at Walmart, and it's not even that expensive. So I'm going to put this in the... I'm going to put this in the description below this video. And then you're going to have a, a Bluetooth adapter, which I got at Big Lots. It's like 10 something. Works great. So, okay, let's get started. Okay, so now I'm in the back of the Bose radio. And if you notice here, you have six inputs, including this FM antenna select for an external antenna and then an antenna switch. Okay, so in order for the Bluetooth adapter to connect to the input, you got to go to aux in. See if I could do it one handed. And you got to go by color because if you notice, they're white and red. Excuse me. So you got to plug it into the adapter according to color. So you got to start with red. Make sure it's plugged in nice and snug. Just like so. And then we will get started with hooking up the adapter. Okay, so if you have noticed, I plug the Bluetooth adapter into the input source right here, which is hooked up to the aux input cables. So I haven't even set up everything, but... We're going to use my laptop as a uh, main source because right now I'm using my phone. So if I get better equipment, like camera equipment, I'll do a Bluetooth demonstration with the phone. But we'll get started with my laptop and get everything hooked up. Okay, so well, that did not take any time at all. You can see that I have paired up. And you can see it's on auxiliary, which is right here, volume 22. And the thing is, you don't want a long enough cord to where it can stick out like a sore thumb. So a small, um, I'll show you. So if you get one of these for the Bluetooth, like one of these, that's feasible because you could very well hide it, you know, so the adapter don't show. And then I got my laptop hooked up here, and the only way to do it through the receiver, let me click on here. Okay, so go to show Bluetooth device. Now, because I'm connected, um, you can see it says BT receiver for Bluetooth receiver, and you can see it's at 90%. So we're going to click out of that. Now we're going to try another, let's go to NCS for no copyright music. Okay, so I'm only going to play this for a few seconds so I don't get a copyright strike. And here we go. Because it's pretty much muted on here, but I'll turn it up a little bit. I got it turned up to 64, but I'll turn it down a little bit. Go about 40. 
You can also control the volume from your laptop once you have it paired up to it. But for a Bose radio from 1998, it sounds hella good. And like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna post a description of this down in the description box. I got it at Walmart. So just to try it out. Needless to say, it plays good when paired up to your laptop or phone or your tablet slash iPad. I don't know why, but it feels a little more muted on the Bluetooth adapter than I thought. But it works good, so I can't complain. Alrighty guys, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to me. Click the bell icon to get notified of my new video uploads. And don't forget to subscribe to me on my second YouTube channel. The link for that is in the description as well. And, uh, alrighty guys, I hope you have a safe, wonderful October. And catch you guys next time.